All right, here is just a fun video review of a bunch of cool, cool things um, from Dr. Wu, Dr. Wu's workshop. Um, and if you're interested in any of this stuff, you can check out the Meteor Operation or Dr. Wu's workshop Facebook pages. And I'll put all those links down at the bottom of the video. And you can buy all this stuff at acestoystore.com. And again, that link will be down in the video description. So check them out if you want to see what's upcoming from Dr. Wu, again, the Meteor Operation Facebook page or Dr. Wu's workshop on Facebook. Um, and if you want any of this stuff, you can buy it at acestoystore.com. Uh, and again, we'll put that all down in the video description. Um, but yeah, this is just a bunch of Dr. Wu's custom kits. Um, first up here, let's take a look at their uh, cliff jumper kit. And you can see it takes your first edition cliff jumper, um, or you can even use this head on the... Uh, on the, uh, the the Robots in Disguise cliff jumper as well. But it gives him a zombie head. Um, it comes with a shard of uh, Dark Energon here, which is really cool. And it gives him the kind of tormented, broken-horned zombie face. It still keeps all of its articulation. It just replaces the front half of the, uh, of the figure, or of his head. And you basically just unscrew the face plate and pull off the faceplate and the original rubber horn piece and replace it with that. Um, now, what, what's not on here that I, I just haven't attached yet, um, it comes with a couple of damage decals. Um, you can see there that you can put you know, damage marks on him to make him look all beat up. Um, I haven't applied those yet. Um, and if you don't like them, you can't always scrape those off. So it's, it's very easy to switch back to the standard... Um, the standard cliff jumper. You just uh, you use just a screwdriver. You can just unscrew the back of the head, pull the whole thing apart. Ah, come here. And then you just uh, put the cliff jumper face back together here. Yeah, come here, you. Pain in my tuchus, why you gotta be such a pain in my tuchus? There we go. Yeah, you just unscrew it. And then you just, uh, once you get the, the old faceplate back on, you put it in. I'm trying to make sure I don't lose this little screw here, because it's very tiny, and if it goes flying around here at work, it's going to go under the computer or something, and I'm never going to find it. But then just screw it back together. Come on. There we go. And your cliff jumper is good as new. So you don't have to worry about damaging your figure when you do this. Easy peasy. There's cliff jumper. All put back together and ready to go. And again, you can just scrape the decals off. You just kind of scratch them with your fingernail if you don't like the way they look. So that's the, uh, and again, here's a look at the, uh, just the face by itself. Um, get some detail look at it. And again, the Energon chart, which is also really nice. Um, also, it comes, all the, these little sets come in their own little plastic uh, flip box here. Um, you see it clipped and open, uh, opens it up. There's an honorable memory of TFG. Um, and there's another decal in there, third one. So you get all kinds of detail. You get three decals to uh, put some damage decal on Cliff Jumper. And the face is in this little box. Very cool. Um, Secondly, there is, um, in another little flip-open box here, there is the uh, Hercules. This is not a rage face. This just gives him a little bit more of a chin guard, extends his face a little bit. Um, I didn't apply this to my uh, Hercules head just because um, I have... Uh, I'll show you. I just brought in Hercules' head because bringing the whole figure <laughs> is a little bit a little bit rough. But, like, my uh, visor has, was starting to crack right here in the middle, so I glued the visor onto this head, um, and it makes it hard to pop this out. Now, uh, when the Rage of Hercules kit comes out, I'll have a new head, and I'll leave that one visorless, and I can swap it out with the different faces. But you can see it just gives uh, gives him a square chin. Right here, we'll just kind of hold this up over his face. But it gives him, uh, you kind of see that, there it is lined up, it gives, it gives him more of a, uh, the, the chin guard there versus the uh, open face. A little bit more, you can see that there's a bigger chin on him and he's got more of the, like, the plating around the lower mouth. Okay, 
Let's see if we can. Just to give you an idea of what it would look like. So yeah. Um, like I said, I'd, I'd take it apart and show you, but I'd end up cracking my visor again. Uh, that and that was, if I'd known this was coming, I probably wouldn't have worried about the visor yet. But, but there it is. Um, there's the Hercules face. Um, let's see what else we got here. Okay, we've got, um, and these are a newer product. Um, these are some new swords for drift, uh, shiny chrome. Uh, they look like they're they're based off, or maybe even reproed from the uh, the sword that came with uh, the trailer for uh, the the Make Toys trailer for uh, the Laser Optimus Prime. But this is this, here's a couple of them. They're both exactly the same. Uh, you can pop them apart. Yeah, I think these are from the Make Toys trailer. But um, if you just want the swords for your drift. Very nice, very very high quality, very shiny. The, the the chrome on the sword isn't flaking off, and they just look really nice. Um, so there's those available as well. Um, on to let's get let's get into some stuff for uh, first edition Prime here. I got this can be used with either one. Now this is not the maskless face. They do have a face coming out for him that doesn't have the that has the mouth plate retracted. Um, that's not being reviewed today. What is being reviewed is they've made. Some just some silver repro guns with some blue energy effects for him. So if you want to get a set of those to give him one to give him two guns because he only comes with one, and two make him a little bit more flashy. Uh, there's that. Uh, very cool. And you can see they're just uh, they're just a different colored and painted repro of the uh, the regular gun that comes with him. And again, nice solid plastic. You know, it's, they don't feel cheap. They're gonna, they're gonna do you good. Um, and then if you don't like the rubbery swords that came with them, there's also uh, swords that are made of a nice hard plastic. You know, they bend if you push them, but they're not soft and rubbery like the ones that came with them. And so you can put them in like that, kind of cover up his hand. But then blades facing the wrong way, you can also plug them in from underneath um, if you so desire. It's really personal preference, but if you want the, the sharp edge of the blade to be down on the bottom. Uh, but you can give them two blades as well. And that's, uh, that's all the stuff for Voyager Prime. Now on to big old movie Prime. And this work these work with any of the uh, versions of Leader Optimus Prime from the movie, whether it's Jet Prime or... Uh, or any of them. Uh, repros of the uh, the swords that he can hold in his hands, as well as the battle hooks. Again, really nice quality, very well put together, um, and these are the ones that he can hold in his hands uh, to give him, as you can see, the battle hooks, or, of course, um, his sword. Now, they, they are... Opposites, like you can see, uh, the screws are on one inside, so you put those so that the non-screw side is facing out. But you can give him the. Uh, I think these came with some Toys R Us exclusive, so you, but you can have them with swords and uh, swords and battle hooks. And finally, and this is my favorite of the sets here. Um, this is the blade set. This is. Um, a maskless face for Prime Wheeljack, as well as, um, let me get it up close here, you can see he's got his mouth, it's kind of scowly face, and you just, again, you just, it comes in a little, little plastic box here, um, okay. I thought this was still in here, here, here's his original faceplate, and again, just like Cliff Jumper, you just unscrew the back of it, um, slide it off, Slide the new faceplate on. Here's what he used to look like. So you can have him with his face mask up or with the unmasked face like he has often on the show. You also get a little Autobot sticker that goes right there on his chest, uh, which is really nice, a nice little addition. And you also get, um, let's see if I can get it here, a little grenade you can attach to his side. I don't really care for the grenade. Um, I'm sure I'll put it on as a display piece, but transforming him, I just don't like risking losing it, but uh, 
but the face is the, the head is really what what sells this set. This is awesome. I like that he's got his little Autobot symbol now, and I really really like the uh, the maskless head. He's just looks like Wheeljack from the show, and that's really cool to me. So yeah, there's a whole bunch of the Doctor Wu products um, that you can get. Again, you can buy them at AcesToyStore.com, um, and if you want to check out what's coming up and what they've got. Uh, in the pipeline, uh, you can check out the Meteor Operation and Dr. Wu's workshop on Facebook. And again, all those links are going to be right down there in the video, so or in the video description. So thanks for watching, uh, and like I said, check out some of these Dr. Wu products. They're really, uh, actually really kind of nice. Like, like I said, this guy, this guy right here, the, the wheel jack, I just really, really like. I like the fact that it's really easy to just swap his old head back on if I ever want to display him with a faceplate. But I just think he gives him a lot more personality to have him have that scowling face. And it's just really cool. There it is, uh, Dr. Wu Creations. Check them out.